Welcome to the training video for the Draeger Alcotest 5510, one of the most accurate and easy to use handheld breath alcohol screeners available today. Maintaining public safety is a challenging job, and the Alcotest 5510 is designed to make your role easier. Whether for law enforcement or Department of Transportation testing purposes, screening for breath alcohol can be done in a matter of seconds. You can trust the Alcotest 5510 because it is based on more than 60 years of innovation from Draeger, a world leader in medical and safety technology whose products monitor, support, and protect human life. We are committed to saving lives one breath at a time. With the Alcotest 5510, you just sample, read, and proceed. The Draeger Alcotest 5510 provides fast and accurate breath alcohol analysis in a compact, user-friendly device, whether you are right or left-handed. The Alcotest 5510 meets the requirements set forth by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's Model Specifications for Evidential Breath Alcohol Testers and is included on the conforming products list for evidential breath testing. The device uses Draeger's quarter-inch electrochemical fuel cell, which is alcohol-specific and not susceptible to other substances found in a human's breath. As a result, you can count on fast and accurate breath alcohol results even at high alcohol concentrations. Now let's explore the features of the device starting with the mouthpiece receptacle which securely holds the mouthpiece in place. Note that there's a wide space between the grip area and mouthpiece to make sure there is adequate distance between your hand and the subject's mouth. The mouthpiece is designed to attach easily to the instrument, even in poor lighting conditions. For purposes of hygiene, each mouthpiece is individually wrapped. A tamper-proof exhaust port prevents any manipulation during breath sampling. An ejector tab makes removal of the mouthpiece easy and hygienic, so you can dispose of the mouthpiece without having to touch areas that have come in contact with the subject's mouth. The mouthpiece also has a built-in spit trap and flow-by design that protects you from the subject's exhaled breath. The backlit LCD screen displays results in large, clear text that is easy to see both during the day and at night. Red and green LED lights and sound indicators support the display readings. The menu arrow and OK buttons make it easy to navigate through a variety of settings and functions. The battery compartment holds two AA batteries that have the capabilities to power the device for more than 1,500 tests. The Alcotest 5510 comes with a handy carrying case that includes two AA batteries, three mouthpieces, a wrist strap, and four quick operation labels. Before you operate the device, insert the batteries into the battery compartment, which is located on the lower back of the device. To open the battery compartment, press in on the lock tab and remove the cover. Insert the two new AA batteries positive side up. Snap the battery cover back into place. To verify battery power, press and hold down the OK button for 3 seconds. A battery symbol will appear in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. To attach the wrist strap, Insert the small eyelet into the hole at the bottom right corner of the device. Thread the longer loop through the eyelet and pull it through until it extends over the plastic covering. A mouthpiece must be attached before testing unless you are using the device in the passive sampling mode. To attach the mouthpiece, open the plastic packaging along the perforation and slide the packaging off the smaller squared end of the mouthpiece, leaving the larger rounded end of the mouthpiece covered by the packaging. For purposes of hygiene, keep the mouthpiece covered by the plastic until just before you administer a breath test. Slide the mouthpiece upward until the ejection tab comes into contact with the edge of the device. The mouthpiece can now be pushed down into the channel and snapped into place. You can attach the mouthpiece from the right or left side depending on your preference. Make sure the mouthpiece is attached properly because incorrect attachment can cause the receptacle to wear down or break. Remove the packaging from the large end of the mouthpiece before you perform a breath test. Here are some general guidelines for testing. 1. 
Use a new mouthpiece for each test. 2. Observe a 15-minute deprivation period to ensure nothing is introduced into the mouth before taking the breath sample. Failing to wait 15 minutes before testing can distort the breath alcohol measurement. Aromatic drinks, mouth sprays, and medicines containing alcohol can interfere with the measurements. 3. Make sure the subject's mouth is clear of any obstructions, such as gum or food. 4. Make sure that the subject breathes normally prior to testing. Quick inhaling and exhaling through the mouth must be avoided. If you notice this behavior, have the subject wait for one minute before providing a breath sample. To turn on the device, press and hold down the OK button for one second until the start window appears on the display screen. A short beep will sound, and the display screen will indicate ready along with a new sequential test number. The LED light will flash green and the device is ready. When the subject is ready to provide a sample, tell them to take a deep breath, place their lips around the mouthpiece, and blow into the mouthpiece without interruption. As the subject blows into the mouthpiece, the device will make a continuous sound. The LED light will remain a steady green, and the display screen will indicate blow. If a sufficient breath sample is provided, the green light and the sound will stop, followed by a click, which is the fuel cell drawing in the breath sample for analysis. At this point, tell the subject to stop blowing. Analyzing will then appear on the display screen. After a short time, the test result will appear on the screen. Results can be displayed in over 10 different units of measure or in a pass-alert-fail format, depending on your jurisdiction. Once you are ready to take another test, press OK. While the device prepares for another test, a recovery countdown will show on the screen. The greater the alcohol concentration of the previous breath sample, the longer it will take the fuel cell to recover. When the device is ready for another test, the screen will display ready along with a new test number. Each test is given a unique sequential test number for accurate test identification. The device stores the last 10 measurement results with their respective test numbers. Test results are overwritten in a first-in, first-out sequence. A standard sufficient breath sample is defined as when a subject has blown at least 1.2 liters of air for at least 2 seconds. If a sufficient breath sample is not provided, one of two errors will occur. If an insufficient volume error occurs, the device will beep, the LED light will flash red, and the screen will indicate insufficient volume. This error will occur if the subject did not blow continuously or the breath volume is too low. If a blow interruption error occurs, the device will beep, the LED light will flash red, and the display screen will indicate blow interruption. This will occur if the subject exhales improperly, either by abruptly stopping or by sucking air back before the end of the blowing period. To exit the error screen and re-administer the test, press OK. In addition to the automatic sampling mode just described, there are two other sampling modes, passive sampling and manual sampling. The passive sampling mode lets you detect the presence of alcohol in the ambient air. Where permitted, you can use this mode to test the interior air of a vehicle, non-invasively test a subject, or test the air above a drink suspected of containing alcohol. Without a mouthpiece attached, hold the device into the air where you suspect the presence of alcohol. When the screen indicates ready, press OK. The device will click and take a sample of the air. If no alcohol is present in the air sample, the display screen will indicate no alcohol. If alcohol is present, the display screen will indicate alcohol. Press OK to start a new test. The manual sampling mode allows you to manually override the programmed test conditions of either minimum volume or minimum blow time. You might use this mode when testing a subject who has a respiratory disease or shy lung, for example, or testing an elderly person who is unable to provide the minimum breath volume or blow time. To perform a manual sampling test, Instruct the subject to blow into the mouthpiece when the display screen indicates ready. When the subject's breath appears to be nearing the end, press OK. The device will draw in the breath sample at this point. When the test result is displayed, the display screen will indicate manual in the lower left corner. Press OK to start a new test. 
After performing a breath test, detach the mouthpiece by pushing up on the ejection tab until the mouthpiece clicks out of the mouthpiece receptacle. Dispose of the mouthpiece in accordance with local regulations. To power down the device, press and hold OK until the shutdown screen counts down to 1 and the device turns off. The device will automatically turn off if not in use for 4 minutes or if the battery voltage is too low. For more information or for troubleshooting tips, please refer to the Alco Test 5510 instructions for use or sometimes referred to as the Alco Test 5510 user manual. You can also contact Draeger at 866-385-5900 or visit us online at www.draeger.com.